Flubberoo, the grading add-on for Google Forms has made some changes. You can now incorporate short answer and extended response grades right into your Flubberoo grades. You still have to grade them by hand, but it'll put them in the spreadsheet and you don't have to do math, which is always a plus. So I've created a really short form here with some basic questions. The very last one, I've used the paragraph style question. I've had some people answer it, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the responses. Here they are. I did not set this up to grade automatically every time a student hits submit, but it works exactly the same way if you do have that set up. So I'm going to go to my add-ons, Flubaroo, and grade the assignment. And this is going to work exactly like it always does. Um, my first two questions identify the student with their name and their email address. I'm going to grade the first three questions normally with one point. My last question was that paragraph question. I'm going to make it worth four points, and I'm going to choose in the drop-down screen, grade by hand. And it says new right next to it. In the next screen, I'm going to go ahead and click my key so that Flubaroo knows how to grade. And here it is. And it's grading the assignment. And if you notice, here's my grade sheet. But this last question, that was a paragraph question, there's nothing there. It says, the question was, explain your philosophy of living in five to 10 words. Right now it has nothing because I said I was going to grade that one by hand. I'm gonna go back up to add-ons. I'm gonna click on Flubaroo. And then down here in this first pop-up screen, I'm gonna click, click on grade questions by hand. What this screen will do is it'll allow you to select the question you'd like to grade. And in our case, there was only one question. And you can also select the student. And here was the question where I identified my students. And the first entry was live like you only have one day left. And I think that is an excellent answer. So I'm gonna give a little feedback. The student is going to get four points, and then it also asks you to put their points right here. So there are actually five steps. Select the student, select your question, read the question, answer the question, and put the points in. And once you click set grade, I'm going to go ahead and look back at my grade spreadsheet, and there's the answer. You can go through and do this with all of them without actually having to go back to the screen. So I'm gonna grade questions by hand again. And as soon as it loads, I've already graded this Fred Flintstone's answer. So I'm going to use these arrows to select my student. This is my next student. And I really like this answer. I'm gonna give some feedback. And I'm also going to give this student four points. I'm going to set the grade. Once you have all your grade by hand questions complete, you notice my row is all filled. I'm going to go back up to add-ons, go to Flubaroo and share grades. You'll get a pop-up screen here momentarily. And once you do, you can tell it to send emails out to all the students who took this particular quiz. You need to find the email address question. That's where you ask them what their email address was. And for some of you, that may be um, the information you collected about their user account. And we want to share through email, although there are some other options. Email is probably the best one. And I want to include a list of questions and scores, so what students got in each particular question. I don't want to include the, the answer key this time because I'd like them to make corrections. And I'm going to give a little note in my name. And once you click continue, all emails should be sent. Beware there is an email quota per day that you're allowed to send. It's pretty high, though. All of these were successfully sent. That's how you hand grade in Flubaroo.